You know, I realized in these these things, it looks like I'm wearing the same shirt all the time. This is actually like a light blue Easter color, and then I got tan and white and everything. <laughs> it's like I have the same shirt on every video. All right, um, Bart Ehrman. Uh, he he says this in misquoting Jesus that he. It wasn't because his idol, the Bible, which couldn't have anything wrong with it, <laughs> was shot to pieces when he started when he started going and uh, researching biblical texts. And no, that wasn't the reason. It's man's suffering. I don't buy this one bit. <laughs> I mean, I said it on my other channel. I talked to a couple other people. I think. Excess C3 and uh, Nymphretic, uh, or however that name is pronounced. A few other people. I'm not, I forget the names of who won the I think Rail Kenex too, um, about Bart Ehrman, how he, he says, after making these strange cases, that no, 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 it was about the suffering of man. It's, my 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 wrestling with how can God cause us to suffer and as if that's ever gonna get as if God's gonna pop out of the clouds like Zeus and explain that to us uh, that's what every single human being grapples with on the face of the earth he didn't think about that when he was a Christian Christians don't think about that oh a talking snake told somebody to eat it fruit and that caused but it still doesn't explain why or the continuation still a heavy philosophical question uh, would we would anybody be anybody anyone out there would you be you without suffering in the world would there be as much beauty would we have poetry would we have understanding would, I mean all the things that make us human would we have that without suffering now we're told we're more perfect without suffering. It's natural. But su suffering, evil, and pain is unnatural. And that we're our truer selves beyond that. It's kind of heavy to grasp. But the truth is there is suffering in the world. And the question isn't how did that get here. The question is how do you respond to it. It's like standing outside of a burning building hearing these screams happen. And say, oh, I wonder what caused that fire. Hmm. As the screams are going, and people are crying, oh my God, help me, and you're burning alive. No, you go and you help the people. Until all the suffering ends, then we can sit around and think about it and try to blame God or the devil or talking snake or something like that. Then we can do that. Because uh, it seems to be the majority of the charities in the world things like Catholic charities, even Islamic charities, uh, that go to help, you know, hurricane victims and victims of hurricanes. It's a very strange idea. Um, people suffering all over the places, people not being able to read, people not having plumbing, people not having uh, drinking water. Uh, there was a group of Protestants, uh, very evangelical, you know my attitude towards the extremely evangelical people. Uh, but uh, they went and they uh, built a well in, I think it was Nicaragua. And it was it was actually, well it wasn't a well, it was attached to a well. It was this natural filtration system where it went like gravel, sand, charcoal, and drained out everything. and uh, So people could not die of malaria and you know all this horrible disease associated with uh, bad water so Bart Ehrman's thing well I don't know there's man suffering and all this kind of, I don't buy that one bit he worshipped the Bible he was upset that apparently there's a verse in Mark that didn't quite you know match up with the past or whatever and then he goes through all these things even though that it doesn't change the message of I, th I find that amazing too that out of all the thousands and thousands and thousands of texts that are found I mean really really old stuff 
uh, before the year 1000. And they might have a jot or a tittle here, <laughs> messed up, or they might have some words backwards that still won't even change the meaning of the word in Greek. Or might have a word missing, or might have a sentence missing. That the overall message is identical. <laughs> that if you read the 27 books, you're not going to get a different message. It's not going to change. Even if you, in Matthew, where it says, I have not come to abolish the law and come to fulfill it, where certain scribes said, wait, that's messed up, and have rearranged it and said, I've not come to fulfill the law, I've come to abolish it. Well, it doesn't matter if you read all 27 books or even, I don't know, the Gospels and some letters of Paul or, you know, whatever combination you want, you're still going to walk away with the same idea. So Bart Ehrman started off as, well, this, this, this book has to be totally, totally right and totally inerrant. Totally right and totally inerrant. Whoever said that, okay, this Western idea. And then he drops his own form of Christianity for nothing else. He doesn't go and say, okay, well, what, how do the Ethiopians, what are the, how, what's their view on this? Is it any, did, no, 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 his view is the right one. And since his view got cracked open, boom, he falls. And is now an agnostic, which is atheist. I don't like people, well, agnostics aren't atheists. Agnostic. You don't have any knowledge of God. Therefore, you are not theistic. You don't have a God intervening and you're not praying to a God. I mean, that's effectively your atheist. You might not be a deist. You th might still be a mechanical God out there working the levers and switches. You know, at the Big Bang set the, uh, set the clock and then stepped back. You could be a deist, but as for a theistic God, if you're an agnostic, yes, you are an atheist. You're not theistic. Bart Ehrman's not an atheist. He's an agnostic. Well, that, that does make you a theist. Maybe not a hard atheist or, you know, see, but you're atheistic. You're not praying to God, right? Or... Is there agnostics out there that pray to God? Do you pray to all of them? Do you have a, do you have a statue of Artemis out in the backyard? Do you just have all the bases covered? Artemis in the backyard, Demeter in front, you know, use Roman and Greek names, and then you got a, you've got Hermes and Mercury, or maybe you got just both names on the statue. And that's that's really foolish. Bart Ehrman, really, no, he's, he, he's agnostic because he... The suffering, the suffering of mankind. Once that's answered, <laughs> no, 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 I don't accept that, no. Uh, he's really ir irritated that the Bible has some little things wrong with it. We can't worship the Bible as an idol. It's, it's, it's not this heathen thing. <laughs> Oh, but, oh, he said the Buddha was heathen. Well, yeah, it's not a Christian. Um, no, I don't buy that bar. Oh, there's suffering in the world. Yeah, why didn't you say that when you were a Christian? What, what, what happened to you? You, you? you didn't know about suffering until you, until you read all the Greek manuscripts? No, 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 no. No, he got irritated that his idol is is gone, and now nobody else can have this as an idol, which is fine. He can write all his books. And he's really fanatic because he tells you he wants to go after the people who actually believe the Bible is word for word descended from heaven, which uh, it didn't come down as the Quran or the Book of Mormon. I don't know who believes that. Apparently he did, that it's the Quran or the Book of Mormon. Um, no, our belief and our revelation in the Word of God is... Christ. He's the Logos. He's the incarnate one. Christianity started with him, not any of the books of the Bible. Books of the Bible were written by the church. Yeah, I know that's hard for people to hear. Um, that it wasn't penned by Jesus. Did you know Jesus didn't write it? I love this atheist argument too. Bart Ehrman doesn't make this. Did you know in the records of Pilate we don't find anything about Jesus? In all the records of Pilate that we found, we don't find anything about Jesus? As, as if the records of Pilate were discovered. I wonder if he has Queen in his record collection or the White Album. Um, 
no, this is foolishness. Uh, he goes after the fanatical Christians and tries to, oh, this is that, this is that. Um, oh, we don't care. At least the Orthodox. I'm guessing the Catholics don't care either. Uh, but the Orthodox, no, we, we really don't care. It's reveal, Christ reveal, nothing, nothing could have been written down and we still wouldn't have changed at all. Uh, we don't get our theology from the Bible. We already knew our theology before anything was written down. Because the church existed before that book. Oh yeah, Dura Europus, get this, check this out. Uh, the oldest church ever found, ever excavated in an archaeological dig. Guess what it was covered with? Icons. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, Bart Ehrman, Protestant, evangelical, rabid evangelical, proselytizing. Uh, fundamentalist who just want one God less and now he's a fundamentalist Evan proselytizing to the masses yeah impartial writer right it really irritated that man. <laughs> you know that he, he had to get you know what it was like 30 or something to say well I don't believe the Bible is no longer my God which is basically what he was saying. I mean, re just read Misquoting Jesus. It's actually kind of funny. Um, and then he gives the worst examples of scribes. And, and he really is skewed, too, because he really gives you the worst evidence, the most doubtful to try to, as if that's like the, that's the evidence. No, it goes both ways. Um, the idea that even though Judaism had a huge oral tradition, Christianity has no oral tradition. There's nothing keeping it alive or it's uh, he's he's a funny one. Peace to you, may God save Serbia. <laughs> Twelve dollars at Marshalls. That's like a TJ Maxx around here that they just put Marshalls on because of Marshall Fields. But now Marshall Fields is Macy's, so now they're switching back to TJ Maxx. <laughs> Take it easy.